hi and welcome to next video i actually didn't plan to vlog today at all um it's wednesday it's for, my, for me just normal work day i actually work from home today and i kind of had a miserable day not gonna lie so i woke up i felt very tired then my stomach was again playing so i didn't really felt like having a breakfast so i had breakfast pre probably around 11 and i only had like two eggs and a little bit of porridge usually i have porridge with some protein powder and banana literally just had a few few bites and that was it because i was in in a bit of pain uh then later on i made myself lunch didn't really finish that either had only like chicken and a little bit of uh, rice noodles so again not great and when I finished, I was a bit like, do you know what? You feel a bit shit. So let's try to do something for yourself. So I did. I lit a candle and also incense. Uh, it's all nice and smelly now here in my room. And I did a little bit of journaling. I'm no journal as a normal person or usually what journaling is from to kind of put your thoughts and feelings on a paper. That's not my style. What I usually do is kind of when I see something that I kind of can relate or something inspirational or just some nice poem etc i just take a screenshot and then i wrote it in uh wrote it <laughs> i write it to my journal and that's what i've been doing this evening so it made me definitely feel much better about myself and now i'm just gonna try to have dinner Oh, also, I did a thing today. See, that's the thing. When I don't feel great, I'm trying to get the distractions in other places. And what I did yesterday, I actually asked for half day off on Friday on 25th of August because we have bank holidays on the 28th and I'm going to Copenhagen. So I already got a ticket, a flight ticket. So I have that and I booked a hostel as well. I was like, do you know what? I can do hotel. I can be spoiled. But then I was like, no, let's go to hostel. Also, the hostel I found is absolutely incredible. Like, if it's really how it is from the pictures and from the videos and from Instagram that i seen, then I'm like, wow. It has even, it has a gym. So, sounds great to me. So, yeah, I did that. <laughs> Good morning. I just woke up. It's 9 a.m. on Saturday. Let's get ready so this mess and then let's go to central london to again work on my stuff and then do some do something fun so let's go so i'm finally ready it's 11 am i have no idea what i did for the last two hours to be fair i just curled my hair did my makeup which is nothing crazy I have the most basic outfit just jeans trainers hoodie and trench coat but I wasted two hours so that's not cool Honestly, I'm the worst vlogger ever. I've been out all day. It's literally now 7.31 and I didn't record as much as I wanted. But however, it's fine because I did majority of my so itinerary. Still can't pronounce that word. And I have just last few bits and bobs which I need to kind of plan. But I have the idea now. I have the places I want to go. I booked all the like attractions as well so it's getting real now and i also went to asian shop because i ran out of kimchi so i got kimchi and then this one was a different one than i usually go and they had um 
They had like pre-cooked meals. So I'm going to show you what I got. First, as a starter, I got these chicken dumplings. They look actually really tasty. I put a bit of soy sauce on them. And then I got this uh, chili, chili chicken. I think it's a fried chicken in a sweet chili sauce. It just looks so yummy. I think this was like six pounds. This was like three pounds fifty. And that's going to be my first meal of the day. Well, not really a first meal of the day. I had that uh, salmon and cream cheese bagel earlier in Redemption Coffee. But this would be like proper hot meal. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to chill because I'm naked. And tomorrow I will be clearing out my wardrobe. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to keep and where it's going to go. So it's next day, it's Sunday. And as I promised, it's time to sort my wardrobe. I'm not really looking forward to it, if I'm completely honest. It's fucking packed. And I have an issue to say bye to things because I'm very sentimental and certain clothes remind me certain events or memories and that's why I keep it. So I need to be ruthless and what I'm going to show you is just kind of part of the wardrobe because then I have still like, I think, suitcase full of clothes, which is kind of like for if I lose weight or summer, etc. But I'm going to go through that as well and chuck some stuff out. So as you can see, this is the state of the wardrobe. It's packed to the rim. So I need to sort this out. So do I have any strategy? Kind of not, but it's okay. I think I will do like two piles. One is definitely a like goal, which I then... If it's still okay, I will donate to charity shop. And the other one is for my sister. So what I think she would like. Because that's what we're going to do when we're both clearing the wardrobes. We usually make like two piles. And then one kind of check it if she wants something or not. So I'm going to do that. And what I'm keeping, I'm going to literally just keep it in a wardrobe. And then I'm going to organize it. So let's do it. Right, so I think it looks much better. So I have here like some dresses. I will get two more. Two, three. Three more when I do my washing. This is my blazers. I literally reduced them to only four. I have my two vests. I have my hoodie. My only sweater. Two shirts. And then long sleeve tops. And some tank tops. I will add some short sleeve tops as well because I need to wash them. Then here I organize this, my sports bras and kind of like bralettes. This is my normal bras, like normal bras. And these ones are without the straps. This is my uh, gym hoodies plus joggers. These are my leggings. And then here I have my kind of everyday top, gym tops. And then here in the back I put my jeans. These ones are shorts under the dress. And these ones are two pajamas, which are new ones for Seoul. Then I organize my shoes here as well. And then this mess. So in the back, you can see I have sheets. This is the uh, towels for gym. This is towel, which I normally using. Plus there's one under the sheets. Plus I need to wash them. And then my pajamas and tea towels. So I think it looks much, much better. So that's the wardrobe done. I think I did quite well, to be fair. I was a bit worried that I'm not going to unchuck anything out but i did quite well i think and now i'm gonna attack the second wardrobe okay so this is the final pile this is probably for my sister this one is either charity shop or bin i have to say it feels so good to actually get rid of stuff so my wardrobe looks more manageable um the thing is i've still full a uh, washing basket full of clothes so i'm gonna wash it and then do a bit more clearing but i think I think I'm on a on a good start to have a nice and clean wardrobe. So I definitely can recommend to do this. I found it quite therapeutic. I had my music blasting as well during uh during this and I had actually quite a good afternoon. Wish it took shorter, <laughs> but it is what it is. I think it took me like yeah, it took me two hours 
to do everything organized, but that's not too bad, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, not much in this vlog happening, but I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you like, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe and all my other social medias are down below. And that is it. So I'll see you next Monday. Bye.